Hey guys, welcome back to Election Center. In this video, I'm basically gonna, just going to be analyzing the results of the 2020 U.S. presidential election. And Joe Biden, as we all know, has been declared the winner. So he's the president-elect. So the Democratic challenger Joe Biden won. Donald Trump, the Republican incumbent, has lost the election. And there are still maybe a couple of outstanding states, not 100% precincts reporting, which is quite... Uh, in a lot of these states, but uh, yeah, I probably have to wait maybe even a while longer to get really the full results uh, 100 absolutely 100% So I decided I make the video now because uh, we've pretty much got all the states called and a lot of them have pretty much all their precincts reporting in so yeah, I'm out here on foxnews.com with the live results pulled up and you see Right now, it's 290 electoral votes for Joe Biden um, and 217 electoral votes for Donald Trump. And right now, it's shaping up to be 306 for Biden to 232 for Trump. That's actually how much Trump won with in 2016. He had 306 to Clinton's 232, and now it's shaping up to be Joe Biden with 306 to Donald Trump's 232. But yeah, what we ended up seeing in the results was that it seems like there was maybe a consistent pattern of the polls having overestimated Biden's margins by a bit, by like a few points. In some states, it was worse than others. Some states were pretty spot on with the polling. Some states were pretty far off. But yeah, kind of saw that uh, play out in the results when we compared them to the polls. And it's seeming like Joe Biden's going to win the popular vote by four or five percentage points because he's leading by around 3% right now. And once all the remaining votes come in, it's seeming like it's going to be four or five percentage points, four and a half. But yeah, so four and a half points, that's actually a pretty decent margin, popular vote margin. And, but yeah, 538's final average had him up 8.4. I think Real Clear Politics had him up seven. So clearly, uh, you know, three or four points overly overestimating uh, in terms of how much they overestimate Biden. But yeah. Let's basically dig into the results here. So Joe Biden has so far flipped Arizona, Wisconsin, Michigan, uh, Pennsylvania. He's on track to flip Georgia. Uh, he wasn't able to flip Texas, Iowa, Ohio. Uh, these states were going to be kind of long shots. But yeah, I was actually on the money with my prediction here in Georgia. I thought Joe Biden would narrowly take this state. So I was right on the money with that prediction. North Carolina, I was off, right? And I'll do another video where I sort of talk about my prediction, contrasting it with the actual results. But apologies if you can hear the dog barking in the background. But uh, yeah, uh, Trump carried Florida by a pretty decisive, like three point, over three points. Uh, and he held on to North Carolina. Georgia, though, yeah, Joe Biden was able to narrowly win the state. And so, let's just talk about some sort of these regions, right? Uh, the Midwest and, you know, some of these Rust Belt states. Minnesota, we saw a fairly decisive victory for Joe Biden of around 7 percentage points, 7.2%. So that's a fairly decisive margin. You get over to these other Great Lakes states, right? Uh, Wisconsin, where the polls really were overly bullish on Biden. He barely won the state. Uh, he only won by 0.7%, so really a pretty tight margin in Wisconsin, and I think that's roughly how much Donald Trump won it by in 2016, but yeah, uh, really pretty narrow. And in Michigan, he won it by, so far it's 2.7%. Remember, 99% is in, in these three states, so the margins will change maybe a tiny bit, but yeah. Um, he was able to carry Michigan by not quite 3% so far. Pennsylvania, let's go over here. He carried it by 0.8%. Um, so the polls were pretty accurate in the state, right? And so, yeah, we saw him pull off in a lot of pretty narrow Rust Belt victories, or really these three states, Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania. And moving on to Ohio, people thought this would be closer. It's a 7.2% margin for Trump right now. 4% left to be counted. Maybe it'll change to like a 6-point margin, but uh, yeah, that's a pretty decisive margin of victory for Donald Trump here in Ohio. Did I say 7.2%? Sorry, 8.2% is the margin Donald Trump's currently carrying the state of Ohio. 8.2%. So yeah, uh, that's actually 
basically the same as he carried it in 2016. And it, I guess, yeah, it'll maybe change to seven points once all the votes are counted. It could do that, but yeah, pretty decisive. Moving on to Iowa, another 8.2% margin and only 1% left to be counted, 99% in. So uh, that's just like a point or so less than he carried it in 2016. So it looks like Donald Trump's support was not that eroded. Uh, it looks like Joe Biden's going to have a couple points on Clinton in terms of when you compare their performances. So yeah, Donald Trump just did a little stronger than was expected. And so far it's shaping up to be the same as the 2016 map, but Arizona, Georgia, Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania flipping to the Democratic column. Oh, and the second district in Nebraska. Um, so yeah. Uh, but anyway, it's seeming like it's going to be a pretty decent win for Joe Biden, not a landslide by any means, but a pretty decent win. Four and a half points advantage in the popular vote, 306 electoral votes. Not a bad win in my opinion, but uh, yeah, you know, it's a, it's a win. It's not a super nail biter. It's a, it's a, it's not a bad win. Now, when it comes to these certain states, right, we have, you know, some states, that could end up deciding the election right being quite narrow. Uh, so possibly the tipping point state is really going to be a narrow margin. I mean, Pennsylvania, it's just 0.8 right now. Wisconsin, it's 0.7. And Arizona, it's 0.3%. Look at this here in Arizona. Donald Trump just didn't quite make it in a here in Arizona. Georgia is really narrow. It's another 0.3% state. Possibly the tipping point state is going to be really narrow. So if Donald Trump just did a little bit better in these states, then he could have won the election. But yeah, uh, four and a half points in the popular vote, 306 electoral votes, not too, not too bad of a win for Joe Biden. And so yeah, and you know, uh, maybe another thing to point out is that Georgia actually voted to the left of North Carolina, which voted to the left of Florida. So yeah, it used to kind of be in the opposite order. Georgia... <laughs> the most to the right out of these three states, North Carolina next, and then Florida, the most left-leaning, not that it was a left-leaning state, it was, you know, pretty neck and pretty neck and neck in this state, but it was in that order in terms of you had to arrange them from uh, left to right. But now in this election, Georgia, Florida voted to the most to the right with a, a three, or, three point or so margin for Donald Trump. Uh, by Florida standards, that's a pretty decent win. Um, you know, kind of decisive, but, uh, of course, that's actually not too big of a margin, only a few points, but, yeah. Then, North Carolina, Trump's gonna win by, like, 1.4%. Uh, he's leading here by 1.4% right now, so it's gonna be, like, a one or two point win, probably, like, one and a half points. Uh, doesn't seem like things are really changing here at all, and only 1% left, and in Georgia, this is going to Joe Biden by 0.3% right now. And it seems like it's gonna it's on track to narrowly go to Joe Biden. So yeah, that's something to point out there. And I think that surprised a good amount of people uh, to see this play out on the electoral map. But yeah, I mean, you know, the second district in Maine, just some closing thoughts here. The second district in Maine seems to have solidified as pretty Republican territory. Arizona possibly gonna be more blue in the future. Texas, we didn't see a dramatic trend. Uh, to the left, but a few points maybe, maybe uh, three and a half points more to the left compared to last time. So that's something. But also keep in mind Joe Biden's outperforming Clinton nationwide by a couple of points. So it's trended a little bit to the left in relation to the nation as a whole compared to last time. But uh, yeah, and just before I end this video, um, we'll just talk about some more battlegrounds here quickly. Nevada, it's going for a few points to Biden. New Hampshire going pretty decisively for Biden. But, uh, yeah, I've pretty much said all I wanted to say. This is just sort of a quickie analysis video. Uh, and I'll do more videos sort of talking about the 2020 election results, possibly. But, yeah, I just did want to get this video out. Sort of just my thoughts on the results we've seen here in the 2020 election. But, uh, yeah, you know, I definitely hope you guys enjoyed this video and thought it was interesting. And definitely... Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section about the 2020 election results and what you think about all this. But yeah, uh, you know, if you like this type of content I make here on this channel about elections, about elections, electoral maps, uh, election analysis, 
uh, historical elections, uh, all things elections, right? Definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel because my videos are going to be right up your alley. But anyway, guys, yeah, once again, I hope you enjoyed this video. I thought it was interesting, and I will see you in the next Election Center video. Bye, guys.